start by saying, if Phenom Fang X, with his brain and his ability to communicate and his skills, were to become a, a scientist in the real fashion and abandon uh, religion, he'd outdo you like 50,000 times, no doubt about it. It's unfortunate that he's religious, so we can't go there, and there's a mind that's been wasted. But in your case here, in your theatrics, and your, your, and here we, let's it's open. Free your mind and feel its motion. So it's what's beneath your feet as we see. Feel your mind, feel your feet, and all this kind of shit you get into here. Ah, uh, yes, you were out there, you did a universe thing. But you're not explaining it to us as a scientist would. <clears throat> Have you ever been to a planetarium? And they think that you should go. Um, you are, like, I'm just going to, right up front right here. You are no Dawkins, you are no Hitchensons, and you are no Carl Sagan, okay? So I don't understand why you got these words in here while you're making this video and you made another one afterwards besides this freeing your mind one. And due to his point, the point he did was skipping past and he just this. Put it all in the the says, Putting things in a perspective. Its moons, or that there is no reason whatsoever finding stability at that time. A couple of hundred bucks worth of HD camera and some computer wizardry that could run on okay. any computer watching this video. Uh -huh. And a single man can produce this from about 10 seconds of video. You got a lot of cutting in the back here. Observing. Indeed, the beauty goes beyond the technological... The beauty. You got that word, beauty? Wizardry that could run on any if recorded an image like that. And now, some 40 years later, a lone guy... A lone guy? Oh, I like this hero. Portable enough to be moved around in a small car. Yeah. A couple of hundred bucks worth of HD camera and some computer wizardry that could run on any computer watching this video. And I'm cool. I'm good. This from Thunder, but myself, I'm really good. Like this from a night of observing. Yeah. Indeed, the I know, it took you eight hours, right? Advances <coughs> this time. But now you can feel in real time the pulse of the solar system. Watching the feel the pulse. The now that's movement. another one. I looked up the word pulse, you know, in the regular dictionary. <clears throat> I looked up other words you use. Um, the universe does not have a pulse. You know, it's expanding. They are pulsars and things like that. So I don't, I can't figure why you are um, screwing up so badly here. I did just a good deal. You say something stagnant, stars, solar system in motion, and yeah, the other one, feel the rotation of the spin of the earth. Alright, you find me one person, or an animal, or anything, probably maybe an animal might have, that has actually felt the spin of the earth. <coughs> you go to a planetarium, and you're in this, you know, great thing and everything, and then you can get kind of get a general idea of that. But your presentation here, um, your theatrics are not scientific, and that's what uh, bothers me tremendously. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to claim to be. I've never come across um, a real guy that is sincere and does this kind of work and would come across like you. What I'm trying to say is, damn, if Venom Fan X actually got his shit together and became a, a scientist in the real sense, you'd be, you'd, you, you, you wouldn't even be landing on the moon right now. You'd just be fantasizing about it. Uh, basically, I think you're out of touch with everything. I don't understand why you would use this terminology, these theoretical things. 
terrestrial miracle round. You use that one. You, oh, you use computer wizardry. I looked up that word wizardry. That is a magical skill. It refers to sorcery, which also refers to witchcraft. Why are you using these types of terminologies or, or, or uh, verbal communications to edit your um, and provide the, you know, the verbal explanations to what you're watching in the sky. That's, that's uh, a problem. And um, <clears throat> I have my donations here for you. Um, I would like to give you this. My, this is my two cents. But if, if you want to, I will be willing to donate more. I'll give you 50 cents. If you get somebody else that is a much better writer than you, that has a scientific mind, that can put what you're trying to do together on YouTube. Okay? And I promise I will mail this to you, and so you can give a guy that's a better writer than your uh, theatrical... stuff because it doesn't doesn't work. You know? It just doesn't. Feel the earth. <coughs> Again. Oh. Anybody else that listens to me disagrees? You like his videos? Fine. Well, just take time with your kids and your neighborhoods and, 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 and they are interested and curious about science when they're excited when they're kids. Go to a planetarium, go to the museum and go there and start making moves in that direction. You don't have to take them to a theater unless you want to see science fiction or something, which you can always see here. I don't get this guy too well, but He's going to be, probably within the next couple of months, probably going to be playing with cartoons all over again with Muhammad Day. Alright, so... I'm not against the guy, it's just... Hey, if you got credentials, produce them. If you got reality, produce it. Don't throw in that uh, theatrical bullshit, drama, whatever you're trying to do. I'm sorry, man. I'm having a lot of, much patience as I can with you, but <clears throat> I guess you may not have anything to do right now, apparently, except for ask for money. But again, I will send you 50 cents, and if, so you can get a better narrator to that actually has a scientific mind to explain what you're trying to tell the people. And I would be willing to do that. And uh, maybe this will be a first step in a, in, a, in a very good direction. Like I said, okay there, Marblehead. The blue, blue dot with the Carl Sagan thing. And anybody else that wants to start, they can start looking at that information. You're going to go down to the next and on to the next and on to the next. Get to those planetariums. They're fantastic. Some are small, some are big. Uh, you, I had one there even called Cranbrook. Not kind of book, it's C R A N, <clears throat> and they will refer you to wherever you want to be, wherever you're living. Go there and actually visit these kind of things and get an education from the people that are generally know what they're talking about. Okay, I'm not saying kind of what doesn't. It's just that the way he's presenting things here with the drama kind of thing. I think you're going to get it. Just then I'm trying next. Damn, what a waste of a mind. That guy could have been a scientist, or would maybe there's a possibility, but there's always another generation. He could take to someplace. 
where Thunderfoot could be, you know, sitting here on Earth for like forever because he doesn't have the intelligence to take us that far. He thinks he does now because he's fighting things or whatever. I'm not going to get into that. I have flack from my channel, but for you guys that are actually understanding it, I'm getting some of them that are coming in pretty cool, and uh, I'm going to try to produce better videos as more communication comes along here. So, hey, I'm State, I'm Ben with Real Professors, and uh, I just don't want to be embarrassed or insulted by this kind of stuff. You know, it, there's got to be a time when you got to just say no, and you got to say, hey, let's go on and quit playing with these. Looking into the reaction kind of guys. <laughs> and send this guy back to fucking England. Watching Io, the most volcanic body in the solar system, and its shadow silently truck across the planetary disk. And you know that all of this is happening in merely hours. And then you look at the stars spinning, and in a flash you free your mind and you let it all go, and you conceive the reality that the ground under your feet is what's in motion under the static stars, and you feel the rolling spin of the earth within the monstrous world, yeah. and then, in the mind, you turn to that bright star, and you perceive no the real time. More. You know what I'm saying? You've got to figure it out. It's not hard. <laughs> 